Welcome back to the bluegrass on this rainy Saturday night. Uh, now what we were planning on doing is headed down to the pond. We've got our kayaks with us and so we got our little john boat with us. We were going to work on getting in and out of the kayaks and the john boat. Uh, but uh, this little road that we use, uh, that hill's kind of steep and our trailer started getting a little squirrely on us. And I was afraid we were going to run off in the cornfield and mess something up. So we're going to walk down to the pond and I'm going to work on a little bit of retriever training. And Charlotte, what are you going to work on? Catching minnows. Catching minnows. All right, so you guys follow us along and uh, we're going we're gonna to do a little bit of fun puppy training and we're going to catch a few minnows. All right, so let's see who we have here. Uh, we have, of course, <laughs> no name. And uh, come on, Marcus, get out of the truck. Oh, and Moose. <laughs> Moose is carrying his dummy already. Who else we got back here? Oh, got a nice short hair named Tracker. And uh, we got one more dog. Come on, Bear, you can get out of there. You good boy. Oh, we got an English chubby named Bear. So we're off on a big adventure. Come on, dogs. Come on, Charlotte. You ready to catch some minnows? Yeah. All right. Very nice. I love treasure. You love treasure? Yes. I wonder what all kind of treasure we might be able to find down here. Doggy treasure and treasure. Ooh. We see a lot of treasure. Yeah. For sure. I hope we find lots and lots and lots of treasure. That would be so cool. What if we found a whole treasure chest? What if we found ten treasure chests? Ten treasure chests. And half of them were filled with gold coins and half of them were filled with dog bones. How cool would that be? This mud is so deep. It's quick mud. Oh no. Ah. See? I told you it was quick mud. Do we have all our dogs with us? Yep. Got one back there behind us. Moose is uh I don't know what Moose is doing. He'll catch us in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Bear. What are you doing, Bear? You excited? You very good dog. There's Moose. How you doing, Moose? Moose caught us. Listen to the frog, Charlotte. Nope, those are frogs. Yep. Gosh darn it. All right, guys. <laughs> let me let you in on, <laughs> on how the dog business really works. Okay, it's Saturday night. It's been raining. Uh, I talked the family into coming over and doing a little late night dog training. And <laughs> we can't get down the hill with the kayaks or the boat. And so I'm like, okay, Charlotte, listen, we're going to catch some minnows so we can go fishing tomorrow. So I had the dogs kind of stationed over there with the cameraman and with Georgie. And I thought that I had done a good job of sneaking off to place the minnow trap. And right as I went to walk off, I saw Marcus over here and he had picked up the minnow trap and he had took off with it out towards the middle of the pond. And see this little cord? You have to have this little cord so that you know where your minnow trap is. And <laughs> Marcus took the cord right out into the middle of this pond. And so I had to come out here and wade around, uh, get a big long stick uh, to find the cord and bring it back. And now look at me. I can't get out of here. I'm stuck in the mud. But that's the dog business, guys. You see everybody, and they've got their treats out, and they're working on heel and sit and down and whatever. But this is really the dog business. Everything that you try to do, it takes twice as long as you thought it was going to do, and it works half as well. So if you're watching this video and you're an aspiring amateur or even professional dog trainer, the best advice I could give you is when you go out, just expect that things ain't going to work out like you thought they were. And if you can keep a good attitude th through that, then you're going to be a pretty good dog trainer. But you got to be willing to end up looking like this in pretty much every situation. <laughs> Let's talk about who we have with us tonight. Of course, we have Mr. No Name, my ace mentor dog. We have a nice black lab named Bear. He's an English show variety. We have uh, Marcus, yellow lab. We have Moose, a uh, chocolate lab. And we have a liver colored uh, German short hair pointer named Tracker. And you can see Tracker. I don't know if you can see him for sure, but he's up there kind of pointing on some birds. And of course those labs are just up there knocking around, scaring off the birds. But they're having a big time. And uh, let's talk about that for a second. Like when I came over here tonight, 
I, I really wanted to get some work uh, on getting in and out of the kayaks and in and out of the boat because although they're similar, okay, they're not exactly the same. So dogs need to practice getting in canoes, getting in kayaks, getting in uh, boats. They need a little bit of practice with everything. Don't think that they're going to generalize perfectly uh, the first few times that they have experienced uh, cross platforms, okay. Now, I didn't get to do that, okay, but that doesn't mean that my session is not going to be a productive session. That's very important for you young guys to understand. When you go out, no, things aren't going to, they're not going to work out like you want them to every time. They're not going to work out like you want them to very many times out of a hundred. But that means that the session is not going to be valuable, okay? So we're just going to like take and turn tonight's session into more of an informal training experience okay so the formal stuff that i was wanting to work on is getting in and out of the boat in a certain way i'm not getting that so what we're going to do we're going to get some environmental socialization and i'm going to throw the dummy and i'm just going to let mr no name serve as a mentor dog to show the show these young dogs that going through the mud and getting out in the water is fun and rewarding experience okay so we're just going to kind of run around and uh, let these dogs experiment let them smell let them feel all the different textures and all in all, it's going to be a very productive night because we're going to, well, A, we're going to get a lot of exercise and tired dogs are good dogs. And we're going to get a lot of, a, a lot of learning done, but in an informal sense, okay? So. <laughs> very nice. What do you think, Tracker? Tracker's like, I'm not hanging out with those labs. And look at Bear back here. <laughs> Bear's just watching. Bear's a spectator right now. Very nice, Moose. Marcus is, uh, he's just trucking around out there. Marcus gets big brothered all the time. Like, uh, I'll throw the, <laughs> I'll throw the dummy when I'm just letting them kind of play around like this. And Marcus always thinks he's that close to getting it. And uh, no name, <laughs> he uh, shoots in and steals the day. Look, right here is what I'm talking about. See, Marcus, he thinks, man, if I just try hard enough, I'll get over there and right at the end, no name's going to beat him. <laughs> See, <laughs> every time, total big brother. <laughs> uh, and Moose, he's just hanging out, having a good time. He tries to catch No Name too, but watch. No Name puts those, uh, <laughs> puts those afterburners on. He always ends up uh, beating the young dogs. <laughs> oh, you guys are so smart. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, Tracker. You good boy. Oh, you good boy, no name. Come on, come on. Give that to me, dude. Now, guys, if your dog has never looked like what Marcus looks like right now. Come here, Marcus. <laughs> uh, your dog's never had a good time. Can you see him, cameraman? That's what a happy dog looks like, guys, just covered in mud. <laughs> so, like, don't be afraid to get out and get a little dirty, you know? I, you know, one of the things that drives me crazy is when people go out to train dogs, uh, and they want the dogs to do all the work, and they want the dogs to get dirty, and they don't want to get dirty at all. One of these days, you're going to be sitting in a nursing home, and you're going to be hiding from the COVID or whatever it is, and you're going to, you're going to think back on all those days that you stood on the pond bank, and you're going to wonder what it would have been like to get your toes down in that mud. What it would have been like to get a little bit more environmental socialization for yourself. Okay? So when you go out with your dog, you see how muddy, <laughs> you see how muddy No Name and Marcus is? That's how muddy I'm going to be by the end of the night. And uh, I'm going to be just as happy as those two. Look! <laughs> Zoom in on that camera, man. So this, guys, this is what makes you happy right here. Look at this mud that I'm wading through. <laughs> If you're not willing to get this muddy, then you don't really want to be a dog trainer. Let's be honest. You know, so now I'm going to take this dummy and I'm going to throw it off in this brush a little bit. Let him go up there and look for it. Very good dogs. Oh, Marcus, you're such a good looking dog. Very good, no name. Now look at Moose. He said, <laughs> Moose is over there trying to get him a head start so he can get this dummy. Let's see if he can beat no name. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> ah. Come on. Hunt it up. Very nice. Now, the key with all this stuff, guys, is to make these dogs basically like uh, indifferent uh, to the environment. You know, I don't want them to like, 
I don't want the dogs to like come out here and be afraid to get muddy. I don't want them to come out here and uh, like only want to swim in the clean part of the pond, right? And that's why me and Mr. No Name come out here and we go through the deepest brush. We climb on the biggest brush piles because we want to lead by example, okay? So I'm constantly taking Mr. No Name and putting him in positions where like he really has to look for these dummies. And then those other dogs, they just follow him over there and they think it's normal. They think it's perfectly normal. That's really the key with dog training, kid raising, anything. It's just about developing a normal that suits you, you know? And for me, like my normal is get out, put the work in, accomplish the goal, no matter what the impediments in the environment are. And uh, so we just, uh, that's just what we do. We do it in every bit of our dog training. When we're out away from the kennel, we do it in the way that we take care of dogs at the kennel. You know, and Mr. No Name is over there. And it might take him a little while to find that dummy, but I know 100% for sure that he's willing to put the work in until he finds it and uh, bring it back over I'm here. I'm about mudded out. I'm gonna get out of this pond and I'm gonna throw this dummy one more time. And basically, uh, you know, tonight turned in to an incredible training experience. No, I didn't get much in the way of formal training. And that's okay. You know, we'll go back to the kennel and uh, we'll, we'll get the kayak out and the boat out and we'll do some practice in the yard. And you know, good yard work always translates to being out in the field. But uh, the session ended up being awesome anyway. Uh, we got some swimming, bear and moose did a lot of great swimming. Uh, Marcus, he's done a little bit of everything. He's fetched a fish trap. He's climbed a log. Uh, he's chased uh, squirrels and uh, chased a turtle off a log. So he's had a big night. Tracker, listen, Tracker, like the whole time we've been in the pond, he's been in and out, darting around. So all in all, I mean, it's just a fantastic night. And I want you to understand that when your training sessions, your formal training sessions, when they don't go perfectly, don't sweat it, guys, because there's learning going on. If you let yourself get down because a formal training session doesn't go perfectly, then you're going to let your dog down. Okay, so don't do that. You always want to take, what do they say? Take that frown and turn it upside down. Okay, so that's what you have to do. If you get, if you get somewhere and uh, all your plans, they just don't work out, well, welcome to the dog business. Here, dogs.